Hey guys, Jameson Redding here with the Road Trip Angler. And today I want to talk about kayak fishing tournaments and how you deal with your fish. So most kayak fishing tournaments are what we call catch, photo, and release. Catch photo release tournaments means that you're gonna catch that fish, you're gonna measure that fish on some type of approved measuring device that's approved for that tournament. You're gonna have some type of identifier that's unique to that day or that tournament in the photo, and those photos are gonna be judged on the length of the fish, and that's kinda how you're gonna be determined uh, your ranking in the tournament. Other tournaments are gonna be what we call live weigh-in, and that either means that you're gonna kill the fish and come to a live event and weigh that fish in, or you're gonna to try to keep those fish alive. And a lot of times tournaments that have these live weigh-ins will offer either bonus points for keeping the fish alive, for having a live fish to weigh in, or they'll offer a penalty for having a dead fish, and that will come in the form of deduction on the weight or addition to the weight of the overall catch that you have there. So there's some unique ways that a lot of tournament anglers have figured out how to keep those fish alive, and that's what this tip's really about, is how Michael Forenza has figured out a good way to keep his fish alive and healthy when he's on the water fishing, and then how he transfers those fish from the water to the tournament uh, live weigh-in event so that he can then release those fish alive and healthy. So I'm gonna turn it over to Michael now, and he's gonna walk you through how he does that. We spend a lot of time keeping fish alive on kayaks for live weigh-in tournaments because we normally get penalized half a pound per fish, dead fish. So it's another uh, two fish tournament, it's, an, it's another one pound you could lose at weigh-in if you don't have the right equipment set up. So in Texas on these kayak tournaments, um, we, it work, it's a lot about conservation and keeping fish alive. Uh, the live weigh-in allows us to release them live back after weighing them in at the, at the scales. So we spent a lot of time and we've, we've spent a lot of effort and energy making sure that fish are healthy and alive. So we got a pawn shop igloo cooler that we've converted to a live well for the truck to transport fish to weigh in. We've got two live well setups we use for redfish tournaments. Uh, this one's powered by the truck. It's got a recycler and two different valvings. We've got oxygen and basically it's just a little oxygen tank. Uh, we do is non-medical oxygen because you don't, the fish don't care about medical oxygen. Then you have a recycling pump running through and we can aerate the live well. And it's basically a cooler that's been repurposed into a live well. So we have a divider, we've got a drain. We keep it on at about a quarter, power it out for the truck, power port, oxygen feed, vents, so that you don't overpressurize and so that you don't keep contaminated air that's outgassed in the live well. It'll lets it, it lets it leave keeps those redfish alive and not happy, ready to go swimming free after weighing. So this is the, I have this set right now where it shuts the valve off here where I've got higher pressure coming to these four. But it, on longer trips, I don't want to over oxygenate the fish with oxygen and a recycler. So I can lower the pressure and still keep the recycling going, but just by adding more holes in another round. We use G-Juice. It basically takes the ammonia out of the water it lets the particles settle out. Uh, bass anglers use it in their live wells on the bass boats. We use it as well for redfish. Um, it is phenomenal. It helps replenish slime coat and helps reoxygenate the fish. This one's in the truck and we have one for the kayak as well. So we have this for making the long runs and transporting fish. It's a plain old box that we cut and we pipe it in. Same thing with some oxygen, some venting, a divider, a recirculating pump. It's just a Pelican box with two switches and a $26 12 volt lithium ion pack from Amazon. And this thing will run this recycler for three and a half hours. Inside, we've got our divider, so we keep two fish upright, and then we've got the recycling system. And I have this set up for the Kraken, which will also work on the NAR on an autofill off of another button there, so I don't even have to bail water in and out of it. It's basically a boat bait pump. And off of a momentary switch, it'll run and fill this thing up and you don't have to manually fill it. I've got an overfill, overfill right here so that I can open this plug and then I can run this and recycle the water 
as it comes out and goes out the scupper holes in the in the kayak itself. So you really don't notice that it's full, you know, with about 35, 40 pounds of water and two tournament redfish. I mean, you're talking, you know, 55 pounds, 50, 55 pounds, and you don't really notice it. The, the, Kayaks handle it really well. You do notice it when you stop or you turn abruptly because you have that water weight behind you shifting around, so you need to be conscious of that. But otherwise, this is a fantastic setup. It's helped us get a lot of fish to the scales alive. Uh, I did a uh, YouTube video on this too, so it's uh, uh, under Mad Fiorenza on YouTube, and uh, you can find the setup and the full rigging for three different kayaks. Redfish swim free fish. When you contain a fish, first off, you've, you've just caught the fish. They've expended a lot of energy. So if you ever watch redfish, they'll roll over on the stringer because they're, they're deoxygenated. They've expended a lot of energy. The viders help keep those fish upright because they feel like they're in a, in a narrow space. So they don't want to roll over. One of the other tricks we do with this is we keep frozen water bottles on the kayak. So two things, it'll help cool the water down so that the uh, fish will absorb more oxygen so that there's more oxygen in the water because hot water loses oxygenation. And the other thing is it gives something for that fish to feel like it's around. So they want to stay upright because if a fish turns upside down and rolls over belly up, it'll start, its breathing will get shallower, shallower, it'll die upside down. So you want to keep that fish vertical and in good shape. Hopefully Michael's setup will help you if you do decide to fish some of those live weigh-in tournaments. He has a complete video walking through the process of how he built that setup, and we're gonna link that in the description to his channel, so be sure to go over there and take a look at more in depth about how he built and put together his setup and all the parts and pieces that you would need to do so. And for more information like this, be sure to give our channel a subscribe and follow along as we share as many tips as we can in our fishing adventures. As always, thanks for watching. Road Trip Angler would like to thank our global partners for helping support the mission to get people outside and on the water.